Well, good morning, my friends. Um, oh boy. Well, first off, excuse the excuse the uh, loud noise out there. That's my landscaping crew. Today's their work day. Uh, I got like a hundred acres out here. See that? Hundred acres right there. Nah, that's on the other side of the fence. But anyway, listen. Uh, check the incubator. Saw some heads popping out. Um, I'm sure I'll do a video later on. But in the meantime, I'm going to talk about something, one of the most asked questions at reptile shows. And uh, on my emails is, Hugh, we go to you for our advice. Um, you know, some of the moms come up to the table with their, with their children saying, what's a good starter snake for, for my, my son or my daughter? Um, of course, if you go to the table next door, it's whatever they're selling, they're going to tell you, that's the snake for your kid to start out with but not me um i'm not going to tell you to grab a retic that gets 20 foot or a berm that gets you know 18 20 foot or i'm not going to tell you to get some of these colubrids that are just wiry um i'm going to go with the uh hands down favorite um it's going to be a ball python what uh you can't go wrong with a ball python for your starter snake let's get this off here yeah i mean where can you get a they're the most docile snakes out there. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, you can see. Oh, um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, oh boy, let me think about this. Um, yeah. So, ball pythons seem to be. Um, I you son of a bitch. Um, wait, hold on a second. I'm running out of uh, film here. I, I can't start this over. I son of a bitch. Um. Uh, you know what? I, I changed my mind. I think you better go with a 20-foot wild-caught retic. It'll probably... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to start this video over. I'll see you.